Hello students, how are you? Today I am here with another interesting question that is uh, this substrate react with uh, this elide to form A and uh, which uh, react with uh, this vinyl ether vinyl ethyl ether to form the product B so we have to identify A and B so guys uh, here you can see that this is a elide and a CWAT group is there it is PH 3P CH C double O E T here it can go resonance with this CWAT group so this elide is a stabilized elide this is a stabilized elide so uh, we can see here that there is a carbonyl group here is a keto group and here is a, a formyl group so uh, for a reaction with uh, elide and formyl group gives an alkene this is known as Witting reaction Witting reaction Witting reaction if we see the general uh, mechanism then we can say PH3PC let's say this is R2 H O double bond C H R1 here plus minus this is delta plus sorry delta minus this is delta plus so first uh, oxophosphate and intermediate will form that is this will attack into this carbon and P C C here R2 here H this is H, this is R1, O minus the pH3 plus. Then a bond is formed between phosphorus and oxygen. Here two type uh, of product may form that is R2 and R1 may be in C's position or in another product these two may be in trans position of this four member ring now we can say that obviously this will be the uh, more stable product because here the two R1 and R2 group are in trans position so steric cutting will be less and here as both the group are in cis position so steric cutting will be higher in this case now for stabilized elide mainly the trans product is formed so from uh, this oxaphosphate intermediate these two are oxaphosphate intermediate from this oxophosphate intermediate a cis alkene will form which is R2 R1 cis alkene cis and from this oxophosphate intermediate trans alkene will form so we have to determine here that uh, here a keto group is there, a carbonyl group is there, a formyl group is there. So as we know that formyl group has higher reactivity than keto group. So here formyl group will react with this elide to form uh, an alkene. Now we have to determine whether the alkene will have configuration cis or trans configuration. So here as this is a stabilized elide. For stabilized elides, this reaction is a reversible reaction. 
and oxophosphate intermediate formation is reversible the formation of uh, this oxophosphate intermediate is thought to be reversible now the product uh, percentage will highly be attributed to the thermodynamic stability of these two oxophosphate and intermediate because as uh, this is less stable thermodynamic is less stable so it will be the major product so the trans alkene will be the major product from the stabilized light so our substrate was this plus uh, ph 3 p over 1 ch c double o t so our product will be this will be our product it has e configuration that is trans configuration this is the more stable product and uh, another product uh, may have uh, the possibility of formation but it will not formed this is the another product this is a z configuration that is cis but this will not be formed because this is a more stable product which has trans configuration now this is uh, treated with this alkene so we can see here that it is a Four pi electronic system that is a uh, diene and it is a dienophile. So it will be a Diels-Alder reaction. Four plus two pi addition. Four plus two pi addition. Diels-Alder reaction. So what will happen? A six-member ring will be formed. OET C double OET double bond of there is a hydrogen now here uh, two things we have to consider one is the stereoselectivity of the OET group and the regioselectivity of this OET group now you can see here that we orient this alkene in such a way that is OET is here we can uh, uh, represent this in another orientation in which the OET uh, may be there that is I am telling from this orientation OET from this orientation we will get this product here will be the OET uh, here will be the C double OET here a double bond now what will be the major product this or this we have to uh, remember here that this will be the major product this is a uh, one two product here one two and this is one two three one three will not form one three will not form one two will form why this type of stereo select uh, regio selectivity will be observed here it is because that uh, it is a dyne this is a dyne here the coefficient at this point will be very high relative to another point and in this dynophile 
OAT, the coefficient will be high in this side. So overlap will be uh, uh, will happen with this point, with this point, and obviously this point with this point. This orbital with this orbital. So reducibility will be like this that CWT and OAT group will be in one two position. Now if uh, this uh, we placed in a reverse orientation that is uh, this bigger size lobe of this orbital will be in this position then the stable orbital overlap will not happen so this product will not be formed so here is the uh, why uh, this is the residual activity we can observe may be explained in this way and another thing that here the actual stereoselectivity of uh, this product will be like this CWET group will be below and OET group will be below here the hydrogen will above the plane so this is our final product B now why this is the this stereoselectivity come from where the stereoselectivity come uh, we can represent this dyne as CWAT and uh, OAT. It is the endo orientation. Endo orientation because the OAT group is in this direction. Here hydrogens are there. Now the product will form, and uh, let's consider this dinophile is approaching from below the plane of this dyne. Again, I am telling, let's consider that this dinophile is approaching below the plane of this dyne. So, what will happen? These two hydrogen will go above the plane, and this hydrogen and this CWAT will go below the plane, and this CWAT will go below the plane. So, what will be the product? it will go below the plane CWAT it will go above the plane it will go below the plane sorry OET it will go above the plane and uh, here the hydrogen will go above the plane same is happening here here the hydrogen is above the plane and these two CWAT and OAT group are below the plane. This is how the stereoselectivity in this Diels-Alder reaction is coming. So if you have any doubt regarding this video, please let me know in comment box. And to get such interesting videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.